Ireland is changing fast. Take a look around you. Nowadays, you'll see different nationalities from all corners of the globe who have moved here to make a new home. So how do our daily newspapers report on stories about this? We talk to Anna Pass, the editor of the Polsky Express. Seamus Dooley, the Assistant Secretary of the National Union of Journalists. And Kinsika Monshengwo, the Training Resource Officer of the National Consultative Committee on Racism and Interculturalism, to find out more. So what is an asylum seeker? That term, asylum seeker, was used uh, loosely to describe anybody who looked foreign. But in reality, an asylum seeker is somebody who's leaving their country and coming to a foreign country to look for protection. And what is a refugee? If the country decides, well, we have looked through your, uh, your case and we, we agree to protect you, then your status in that country becomes refugee. What is the difference between an illegal immigrant and a migrant? If they enter a country illegally, uh, without the, authority, the authorities knowing that they are there, then they are illegal immigrants. But if anybody living from one place to go to another place to work, they call them a migrant worker because you have migrated to go to that place to work. I don't know if you can simply blame the media, but there is no doubt about it that some of the coverage, and not just tabloid, contributed to stereotyping, to uh, the idea that all migrant workers were on the make. I remember when I first came here, would be for the, uh, the negative coverage on asylum seekers and refugees. People were actually genuinely interested in talking to you, asking you questions, showing you directions, etc. Very nice. And after a certain time, you, you, you started seeing a lot of the negative coverage about uh, blacks and etc. etc. You could feel walking down the street that the attitudes are changing. There are still elements of ignorance and racism within Irish society uh, and I think we need to be aware of that. They perceive you as a foreigner, therefore they make a lot of assumptions uh, because of what they've read. Obviously immigrants are coming to Ireland because of its booming economy. We're coming here to uh, find better jobs, better wages, better accommodation, better life. But not all new immigrants work in low-paying jobs. Many work as architects, engineers and in the financial sector, all adding to our growing economy. If you look around Ireland today, you will notice a different accent, different nationalities. It's just a fact that Ireland is a multi-ethnic place today. So that's why a new term that people are using now, and that term is interculturalism. Now, I cannot turn around and, and show you this is interculturalism. It's about putting in place policies to ensure that interaction is happening between those different groups in society, between them and the majority population. We could and should be doing more uh, to ensure that there are a, a wide variety of voices, not just in newspapers but also on television and on radio. But the real problem I think is that uh, migrant workers themselves are not employed in the media, uh, certainly not in mainstream and therefore the shaping of news remains largely a function of white middle-class males with a few women thrown in. At the beginning, as I said, journalists, they didn't know that much about the uh, Polish community. Um, so they were writing about what they find on the internet or what they've heard from, uh, you know, single characters on the streets, which obviously is not representative for the whole community. There uh, has been an improvement, I think. It's not, not necessarily all about migrant workers driving on the wrong side of the road or being exploited. Uh, there are a lot of human stories out there. Maybe I would like to see Irish media uh, not to uh, write about us like a one big group. With our culture changing, so too are the words we use in the media. Our challenge is now to learn these new words and their different meanings in the news and on the street.